All right, so today I'm gonna to do fall damage. And Roblox, you can fall and not worry about getting hurt, uh, unless you add the scripts, and I'm gonna do that today. So I put these three wedges here. This one's 50 studs. I did 50, 40, 30, and 20. So we can measure how much damage we're gonna get based on our drop, and then we can adjust accordingly. So let's go ahead and stop this. Let's go to server storage, and I am going to add a fall script to server storage, and when characters enter the game, when players enter the game, we're gonna add that script to the character. So let me call this fall damage, right? Server storage, do fall damage, right? We're not gonna populate it right now. Right now, what we're gonna do is add it to players as they're entering the game. So let's go to server script service to do that, right? Server script service, add another script. So we're gonna call this one, give fall damage cool so you have two scripts you're gonna have the fall script that you're gonna put on the player and then you have the give fall script that actually puts the script on the player right server script service give fall damage let's do that one first let's go ahead and get a reference to the fall damage script fall damage game get service server storage and dot whatever it's called right here fall damage I'm just gonna do that right here fall damage cool now that's the original we don't want to put the original on the player we want to put clones on the players because we want to have lots of them right we're going to have all the players are going to get a false script let's go ahead and get game players player added connect to an anonymous function player so when you do a player added event the player that gets added is the default is the is the automatic parameter for that function so that makes it kind of cool and then that player is gonna have a character added, right? So the character added happens after the player's added. And what do you think that one's gonna get in the function as a parameter? It's gonna get the character, it's gonna get the char. I call it char because I don't like spelling out character. All right, now let's make a fall script clone. We'll say fall damage, and we're gonna clone it, right? Don't put the original on or you'll, it'll only work for one player. Let's get the fall script clone, parent that to the character, and that essentially puts it on. So let's try it out. Let's see if our, our player, when he enters the world, the character is gonna have the fall script. So go to workspace over here, Simtech Gamer 7, and boom, there's a fall damage script. Yay. All right, that works. So there's nothing in that script right now, so it's not gonna call, it's not gonna cause any damage. But let's go to our server storage, fall damage, and then populate that, and we will have some fall damage on our players so we'll say local char so whoever gets the script is going to have a parent and that's going to be the person that gets the damage uh we need a humanoid to cause the damage that's on the char wait for child humanoid and we're going to need the hrp for velocity and position All right so i'll say char wait for child humanoid root part Cool, and we need a variable called is falling to determine whether falling or not, right? And then I need a variable for my start height. I'm gonna do the damage based on, on how far you fall. Some people do time, it works good too, but I like doing the distance. So I'm gonna get a start height, then a stop height. Just initialize them to zero. I'm gonna do this while loop and I'll use the wait inside the while loop for the conditional. So it'll run as long as your player is in the game. And when he's dead, it won't, but it'll start back up when he gets added. All right, so when we're falling, it's gonna check to see when we're falling and when we're not falling. So falling, let's say velocity on the Y direction, that's the up and down. If it's less than 10, we're gonna set the flag saying, hey, he's falling, right? If it's greater than 10, if HRP velocity dot Y is greater than negative 10, not falling, right? So let's go ahead and put a little note here. We'll say not falling. And this is gonna fire whenever we're, oh, this is falling, I'm sorry, falling. And this is not falling. I should just copy that and pasted it, not falling. Right, so we're falling here, not falling here, but we don't want to just be like not falling. 
we want to make sure that we're we want to fire this uh, little block here when we stop falling not just not falling stop falling so we're going to determine that as long as the is falling flag is true and we just we're no longer uh, falling at a rate faster than negative 10 studs per second boom we must have stopped so let's go ahead and do the falling first we got to start things so i have my start height that i want to get hrp position dot y but i only want to get this first time when we go through when we just start falling i don't want this to update every time we go through the loop while we're falling 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 or this number is not going to be accurate it's going to be the last value not the first value so i'm going to use my flag and say if not is falling then we must have just started, right? Because we didn't set the flag yet. That's what I care about. Then we'll set the flag. True. All right, so now we got a good start right here. Down here, oh, this is true. And then we are no longer following. We must have just stopped, right? That's what we want. Well, we just stop. So we'll say is falling is now false. So we don't do it again, right? Not until we set the falling flag again. So we're going to say stop height, HRP position Y. And then I'm going to get the distance that we fell, right? So we're going to do the start first minus the stop. That'll be the distance. And let's do a little uh, check to make sure that we fell at least say 20 studs before we start damage. We'll say humanoid, take damage, and we'll make the damage distance times two. So that's going to increase linearly as we fall, right? And that doesn't really happen in real life. It's exponential. You fall faster and faster and faster at a, at a exponential rate until you hit terminal velocity. Let's just do a print statement to see what we got. So we have our damage equals, and that's going to be the distance times two. I didn't do a damage variable. We're going to have our start height equals start height and we're gonna have our stop height equals stop height and you don't need that that's just for printout so we can see what's going on all right let's see what we got i know that was a little bit confusing there's a lot of little flags a lot of little conditions let's try this one this may or may not cause damage because we're right at the 20 threshold boom no damage that's fine it's not going to fire. It's not going to set the fall damage right away. It's going to be like a split second, like 0 0.03 probably. And boom. Oh, we got a little damage. There we go. We got 61 points of damage here. So let's go to our 40. So that will increase damage, right? Because we just drop farther. Ooh. Wow. That's, that's pretty good. That's 79. That's almost 20 points. Uh, 20 points more, which would be almost exactly, boom, 59. Okay. So we had a 61. We got a 59 on that ramp. And then this one is what? It was 79 before. <gasps> boom, 79. That's pretty, that's pretty good. It's pretty consistent. Let's try the big one. So this one should be like 99. Should be just enough to kill us. Not quite. Boom. Oh, look at that. 99. 99 points of damage. That's some pretty accurate fall damage. You're getting plus or minus, what, two, two points. If we jump here, we're going to get damage. That just knocked us above the threshold. That was 51. Yeah, I like it. All right, so uh, let me know what you think. You could do, you could do this with, like, uh, time falling. I tried it with the different states, like the falling state and the not falling state and stuff like that. It didn't really work that good. Uh, the states don't update quickly like the velocity does. So that's what I went with that.